I, I was always around bluegrass, always liked listening to it. I would go to my grandparents' house, and they, they had a record collection, and eight-track tapes were the thing at the time, you know, that's the early 80s, and so I remember many nights just going, having my head on one of those speakers of the eight-track player and just going to sleep there. first time I heard a fiddle, I was around four years old. I remember being at a bluegrass show around southern Indiana and hearing this fiddle player play the Orange Blossom Special. And that just really rocked my world. From that point on, I was just all about that song and I would collect versions of it for years. Everybody still, you know, with the fiddle, they they ask, well, can you play The Devil Went Down to Georgia, and can you play Orange Blossom Special? And so a lot of fiddlers just got tired of it, but I just always had a soft spot for that song just because of, you know, if it wasn't for that song, I wouldn't be playing the fiddle. So I'll play it anytime anybody asks. For my final tune, I'd like to do a tune called Orange Blossom Special. The thing was, I wanted to do it so bad that if I was working on something, or if I got in the mood to play, I mean, I would play. It'd be hours. And, and it's a slow process, you know? Sometimes you get, you know, you, you get three notes. You, you figure one thing out, then, you know, you're, you're just a little bit closer every time. Yeah, I mean, if you want to do something bad enough, and if you, you put your whole life into it, you'll, you'll figure out a way to do it. 